taking advantage of the warm period that immediately followed the end of the last ice age, small groups of humans started to settle down. Humans started to gather in large communities, inventing farming and raising animals rather than hunting them. However, what humans had accomplished so far was minute in comparison to what the new arrivals in the land of summer were doing. Using the ideas developed by neighbouring humans, the Sumerians began to farm the landscape. However, an unforeseen problem seemed to have arisen. Watering their growing fields proved to be an issue. As their crops got further away from the rivers, it became increasingly more difficult to water these fields. The Sumerians overcame this problem by simply digging canals for the water to flow down. This made watering their fields way easier, allowing them to expand their food production even further. The Sumerians had just invented irrigation. However, these canals fell apart extremely easily because, funnily enough, water and mud equal, well, muddy water. This further convinced the Sumerians to stay put as the very technology they had invented to increase their crop yield needed maintenance for it to keep on working. Irrigation soon became the norm throughout the Neolithic world, but the Sumerians were not done innovating the world of agriculture. Ploughing had, up until now, been a rather laboured affair, with simple hoes being used to make the ground ready for planting. Almost simultaneously to the budding civilizations of Egypt and the Indus River Valley, the Sumerians invented the machine which could do this laborious job quickly and easily. This invention would become known as the plough, allowing the Sumerians to increase their crop yield even more. Planting crops was way easier than it had ever been, and now these small farming communities suddenly had the means to feed larger populations. These small centres quickly experienced an increase in population. The increased populace was set to work on maintaining the canals. However, soon the pool of potential workers became greater than the demand. People began to specialise in other seemingly less important trades. Soon, this increase in specialists began to see results. Seemingly out of nowhere, there was a huge technological achievement. These specialists began to smelt rocks and through smelting created a new tool, copper. Quickly, copper began to replace the Stone Age tools of ploughs and knives. It was easier to make large batches of this material than to spend days finding the right stone and then shaping it to the right shape. Copper smelting first started in the Fertile Crescent in either 7000 or 5000 BC. Almost overnight, the extensive systems which had been put in place to make stone tools were made redundant, thus bringing an end to the Neolithic Age and kick-starting the Age of Copper. In just a few thousand years, humans had gone from wandering nomadic cavemen to industrious city builders. However, the Sumerians were not done innovating yet, as they were about to invent something that would change history. Thanks for watching and listening to our video. If you like the channel, consider subscribing to Ancient History Guy. Or, if you really like the channel, head on over to our Patreon feed. There, for as little as $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive documentaries, behind the scene footage, and videos before they're live on YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.